this is the main interface of the cinema 4d uh, once you once you open it you can see something like this okay so this is called these four main uh, cube panels or whatever you can say are actually four different viewports four different uh, directions of viewports so let's suppose this is called perspective as you can see it is written here this is top this is right and this is front how you how you will navigate in the viewport because you are always navigating viewport so you must be very uh, very fluent and very relaxed using this uh, viewport so if you can see one two three and four these four buttons on the viewport these these are the main buttons you use them to navigate your viewports for example if you click this button you can move it pan it right left up down if you click this button you can zoom in and zoom out if you click this button you can orbit around your object or orbit around your viewport and if you click this button so you can see this viewport will become maximized and if you click again it will again go to all the four uh, different sides of the view uh, of of the viewport so primarily we are uh, it's 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 individuals user choice that he wants to work in this in this view or he wants to work in a maximized view i personally prefer to work in a maximized view in so this is our perspective view what is the shortcuts to pan navigate and orbit around the viewboard is you press alt and right mouse click so you can orbit around if you click alt and middle mouse click you can pan and same is if you click alt and drag you can do zoom in and zoom out so everything is by pressing alt middle mouse button and right mouse button and somewhere left mouse button okay uh, these are the main you can see the all the main important buttons of uh, cinema 4d some of my buttons are extra here because i have some third party plugins which you will not have in your default cinema 4d if you do not have these buttons it is fine because the default cinema 4d does not have all these features you need to download all these extra third party plugins which are actually not mandatory to use cinema 4d whatever we will create or model or something we will be doing without using we, we will be doing them by using default cinema 4d if you click this button you can see a window will pop up and you can see all these different shapes in this panel one thing i will do is i will come here click this button cube and this window will pop up and i will click on this double bar and leave it so now it is stack outside so i will go and show you what are these things so these are different shapes once i click cube you can see the cube is generated now now you can see these arrows which are pointing in three directions red blue and green what are the indicators they are indicating the directions of the viewport for example the red one is indicating x axis of the viewport y is indicate uh, green is indicating y axis and blue is indicating z axis x axis is going right and left okay and green is indicating up and down and if you click uh, click blue and drag it is showing you z so x and y is normally default which is or uh, which is in all 2d software so here in 3d software you have one extra axis which is called z direction which gives depth to the, to the scene okay so whenever you create an object you will see i will close this panel for now because i don't need this one whenever whenever 
you will create okay before going to this uh, attribute panel I will try to explain I would like to explain these things these buttons also so this is the move tool this is called move tool when you have these three arrows you will call it move tool when we click the next button this is as you can see when I pop uh, when I leave my cursor there you can see it is showing me the name of the the tool is scale tool I click this one and you can instantly see the shape of the my axis is changed so I will what scale tool means it is making it big or small okay this one is using to scale the object okay the next one is rotate this is used to uh, rotate the object in in any of the axis on either on Z axis or Y axis or X axis so what you will do is you will just come if you want to rota rotate it on one axis you will come here and if you, if you bring your cursor to the this red line and you leave it there so you can see it changes to white so as long as soon as it changes to white you are ready to move it in that specific direction similar way if you bring it to the blue one you can rotate it to that specific direction and same is green one okay so now once you created this object this object have some properties so where you can find those properties you have to select this object from here either from viewport click or on the right hand side you can see this panel this is actually called object manager so whatever the objects you will create you will find them here and below this object panel you can see attribute panels this you can see attributes and here objects what the attribute panel has so we select this object and we come here and we see there are one two three and four main further uh, buttons or properties of objects we primarily concern with these two coordinate on object I will explain you all of them basic as you can see here is the name you can give it a name like uh, anything okay layer layer is if you create an, a layer and you add this to the layer then you can have the name here I will explain it later visible in editor visible in editor means visible in viewport so by default it is default if I come here and click off it will disappear in viewport it is still there and it is but it is off in viewport and as soon as I click here you can see that the red uh, light is also here on so it means this object is actually invisible in the viewport there is a difference between visible in editor or visible in render if the object is if you keep this thing on here and you keep this thing default here it is still there in the final output you can uh, for now I think this the for now this keep it simple otherwise you will get confused for now once you get into the rendering or uh, uh, once we get into the rendering section it will be more clear that what I'm talking about here so for now just keep it so for now just keep it as uh, simple like default is on on means on off means off and on means off and you can see it is changing by default both are off if we make it on so it becomes green and default so we'll keep it default use color use color means if I want to give it any color in the viewport so I can come here and change the color I click here color and you can see the color is being changed enable disable is same means the object is enable or not enable x-ray as it names like you can see through the you can see through the object and you can see the grid behind this object now coordinates what are the coordinates coordinates are same as these axes so for example if I will move x axis from here you can see that it is start changing here 
it's giving it positive values and negative values so if I will move it from X axis in right side it is giving me positive values if I will move it on left side it will give me negative values same is the case here you can give positive and you can give negative Z also positive and negative and one more advice uh, I would recommend all the students to uh, to be used to use review port using the, uh, the shortcuts like alt and uh, your mouse clicks other uh, other than using these buttons because it is more slow and if you're using the shortcuts you will be more fast okay the next one is scale scale is same as it is the name s scale y and one more short uh, tip that uh, once i am changing this value okay and i want to make make bring this value to default i will just come to these uh, dots to arrows and i will click right click and it will become default okay r as it name says rotation same okay here you can have h p and b h stands for height p for pitch and b for base and if you don't want to use h p b you can use x y z okay it is same I will not go into these two options because these are little advanced options we can see them later okay then comes the object properties object properties is as you can see that see that by name that it is the properties of the shape so once I'm increasing the size you can see x-axis size is increasing now this is not scaling there's a difference between scaling and the size scaling is actually it is deforming the original shape of the object and scaling means it is stretching the shape of the object so now we are actually deforming original shape of the object so for example we make x axis 400 I just type I'm just typing the values and y axis like 150 and z axis like 100 and 100 so this is our new shape I'm just orbiting around my viewport okay here comes another button called segments so what is the segments so in order to see the segments what you will do is uh, let me change the color because it's a little weird color you cannot see it clearly in the viewport so now I will discuss something about the uh, viewport modes what the viewport modes are these are these display modes so I will go to the display button and I will click this double uh, dotted lines so that it will stack outside okay now we'll see that uh, these are different kinds of modes of viewports these are display modes for example I will uh, click one by one and you can see the difference so this is shading and lines more so now you can see there are uh, many lines and then there is shading mode and then there is quick shading lines mode there is constant shading constant shading lines hidden lines only lines wireframe isoperm box and skeleton so what these are these are actually this these these sh uh, these modes are actually designed to see the vertices and polygons of an object understand the vertex and polygon we need to make this we need to collapse this object what collapse means we'll come here and see this button this button is make array table so once we click this button now this object uh, become array table object what array table means like you cannot access its object properties anymore now you can edit this object in various uh, ways for example any object is actually uh, made up of polygons 
for example this is one polygon this is second polygon this is third polygon fourth fifth sixth seventh and so on so now you can see whatever wherever there are four corners each four corners combine to make one polygons and also minimum three poly uh, three corners are required to make one polygon how can we access the polygon modes we'll click this button and you can see now whenever we come here we can select the whenever we come to the click somewhere it becomes the selected area becomes white once we click this one so this is we have selected one polygon this is second polygon this is third polygon like this these all are polygons up down left right all are polygons polygon are uh, these are different uh, modes to edit an object for example there is an edge mode so what edge mode means these whenever come to the edge it's become selected so this is edge mode so once i click here drag and move now i am moving the edge undo same way if i will select polygon and move i'm selecting i'm moving the polygon and the third mode of editing is vertex we click a single vertex and move it as per our requirement so there are three modes of editing there are three modes of editing an object one is vertex mode one is edge third second one is edge mode third one is polygon mode